okay so let's proceed to trade discounts so at the end of this module the learner should be able to understand the flow of supply chain define single trade discount and illustrate and compute single trade discounts definition of trade discounts in business traders try to buy merchandise at the lowest possible price to maximize their profits it is common to offer discounts on the price of meat merchandise in order to attract customers. This is especially true for manufacturers who sell in bulk to resellers. So the list price is the manufacturer's suggested retail price of a product. And on the other hand, a trade discount is an amount deducted from the list price of a product let's say you own a retail store that sells branded rubber shoes have you ever wondered about the process how the shoes go through before it reaches your store so as a business owner it is necessary to be knowledgeable in the process involved from the making of the sport shoes up to the selling of it and this idea is called supply chain. Supply chain. Manufacturer is the one in charge to convert raw materials into finished products. So these products are now being transferred to a distributor or broker that is responsible in dispensing the product to wholesalers whose rule is to sell the product involved to company or retail store enough to the individuals. A retailer or merchant is an entity that sells goods such as clothing, groceries, or cars directly to consumers through various distribution channels with the goal of earning a profit. So this retailer can operate in a physical building or online so what do we mean by trade discounts so when we say trade discount it is the least price reduction to the business may offer to its business customers typically it is often between manufacturer and wholesaler or between the wholesaler and retailer usually this trade discount is occur when a purchaser meets a certain condition to qualify and it is a reduction in cost from the normal retail price on goods. Okay, so let us use this real-life scenario. A certain distributor of a branded rubber shoes provides a 15% discount to its wholesaler who purchased 1,500 pieces of rubber shoes in a month. So instead of paying 4,500,000 pesos, the wholesaler will just pay 3,825,000 pesos because of the given discount. Okay, so in this scenario, the 15% is what we call the trade discount rate. So the 4,500,000 is what we call the list price and 3,825,000 is the net price. So let us define each of them. So when we say trade discount rate, it refers to the percentage of the discount. This price refers to the price of the product without discounts and the net price is the actual price a customer pays after deducting any trade discount. So we have two methods to compute for the trade discount. So the first method is the discount method. It is useful to find the net price and the actual amount of the trade discount. To do this, first step we need to find the discount which is equal to the least price times the trade discount rate. Second step, net price is equal to the least price minus discount. For the complement method, this is only useful to find the net price. First step, find the complement rate, which is 100% minus the trade discount rate. Second step, net price is equal to the least price times the complement rate. So let us now apply the following formulas in our example. Okay, so for our example, finding the net price 
find the net price of this shirt list at 925 pesos. The retailer is granted a 20% trade discount. So to solve this problem using the discount method, first identify the given values. So we have here the less price, the 925 pesos, and the trade discount rate, which is 20% or 0 0.20. The first step is to find the trade discount, which is given by the list price times the trade discount rate. So we have 925 times 0.20 is equal to 185. Next is to find for the net price using the second method. Less price minus the trade discount, we have 925 pesos minus 185 pesos which is equal to 740 pesos. Now let us show the second method using the complement method. First we need to find the complement discount rate. To do this we will just simply subtract the 20% from the 100% and that gives us 80% or 0 0.80. After this we look for the net price by having list price times the complement rate or complement discount rate. So 925 times 0 0.80 gives us 740 pesos. So we have the same answer. And so the net price of a polo shirt is 740 pesos. So you have an option. You may use the first method, the discount method, or the complement method. Second example, finding the list price. A manufacturer can cover its costs and make a reasonable profit if it sells its product for 350 pesos. So at what price should the product be listed so that a discount of 35% can be allowed? So according to the problem, we are looking for the list price. So first, identify the given values. So as we can see in our problem, we have the 350 pesos, which is the net price, and the 35%, which is the trade discount rate. Next, identify what method you are going to apply. For this problem, only the second method can be used to find the least price. So in order to do that, first identify the complement rate, and that is 1 minus 0 0.35, which is 0 0.65. The complement discount rate. Second step is the substitute the values to our formula, which is the net price is equal to the product of the list price in the complement rate and then after this divide both sides by 0 0.65 since that we are looking for the list price so we have 350 over 0 0.65 and this is equal to 538.46 pesos so meaning to say the product is listed at 538.46 pesos <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,